I learned French three times in my life and lost it five times already. Can you relate to this when you ever have learned another language? Yet when a French user recently reached out to me in French, I replied to him in French as well. Another user gave us a review in Portuguese, so I made the effort to say thank you in Portuguese as well. In today's tutorial, you will learn how to write messages in emails confidently and in a foreign language. My name is Dominic and I'm one of the co-founders of TextCortex, one of the top 200 early stage AI companies in Europe with the mission to build your next level artificial co-creator all around improving your writing and your communication. I truly believe in this one quote from Nelson Mandela. If you talk to a human in a language they understand, that goes to their head. If you talk to them in their language, in their own language, that goes to their heart. So when Joel recently gave us that review in the Chrome Web Store and said that my videos helped him at the end of it, I wanted to reply in a meaningful way, in a meaningful language to Joel. And I've heard from some of our German and Spanish native users that they've been using our extension to write more confident emails in English. So I thought to myself, this should also work vice versa. So let me jump into Gmail and show you how it works. So welcome to my Gmail post box. It's certainly not that empty. I'm on a category forums because I have way too many emails on that Friday afternoon I haven't answered. But I want to give you a basic just how you can write a confident email. And what you can see here already is that I prepared something. I want to answer Joel who gave us a really nice review. Uh, I want to say, first of all, thank you. I want to tell him that it's amazing to hear that my videos have been valuable to him and he should let me know if I can help him. Uh, I did the abbreviations for reason because I want to show you that it can even work with abbreviations or shortenings. All you need to do is highlight the text, the three bullet points you have now, which guide the AI in understanding what you want to do and give it gives it context. You click on the bullet point email function or simple email function. What I like to do is I like to write long emails. Hey Joel, I just wanted to let you know that I appreciated your review. It was really helpful to hear that my video was valuable. That makes sense. If there's anything I can do to help you, please don't hesitate to let me know. I'm always here to help. Thank you again for taking the time to write a review and I look forward to hearing from you soon. That's incredible. Uh, that's super nice. I would write the same emails, uh, but just my AI has written uh, the whole thing for me. I can just click on it. Now I have the email in here. I just need to add my signature. Bye bye. Best from Berlin. Perfect, I can send that out in English now. But let me revert the whole thing because I want to write the email in a foreign language. So same story again, I highlight it, I click on the email function, I first change it to long and then I change it to Portuguese and I click on writing the email again. That looks like a reasonably well email. Let's put it in here. To be honest, I can just read minor parts of Portuguese because I know a little bit of Spanish. But let's see now, just to double check what it wrote, I'm gonna use the text cortex translation function to translate everything not in French, but in English again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate your feedback and glad to hear that your our video was valuable to you. If there's anything else we can do, sounds amazing. So I know now that my Portuguese email actually sounds really nice. And if you think about it, that the original part was just those three bullet points guiding the AI what it should write. Perfect. Email done. So this is one of the use cases our creative users actually hacked together with our tool. They combined our capabilities and created value, which I totally love. And I hope you can help us with your feedback to become a better product as well. If you have some ideas, please share them with us in the comments or as part of our community in Facebook or LinkedIn. If you watch till here, I'm asking you really, what are you waiting for? Add the extension to your browser and test it for free. Find the link also in the description together with the community link. And if you want to have more daily creations, you can check out this video about how you can earn more daily creations for free. You have a small budget every day, you can increase that by referring people, for example. Please follow our channel, like and share our video. Thank you very much and see you in the next video or the next tutorial.